Okay. What program are you running? Pardon? What program are you running right now? Program am I running? Keely. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what program I'm running. What are you talking about? <laughs> I am running pure this morning. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good morning, everybody. It is Brenda and Dr. Dave back here once again on the Monday morning to start your week off in a more positive, awesome way. So welcome, Dr. Dave. Nice to see you in the tropics there. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, yeah, wishful thinking because here in Michigan, we've got snow and it's actually coming down pretty fast. Oh. Um, it's beautiful, but I'm not going to feel that in about an hour when I have to go out in it. <laughs> but it's Monday, so yay, let's do this. All right. So I'm just going to do some shuffling. Yeah, we had like light little itty tiny bits of snow. Yeah, I don't see any more out there now. I think it decided to stop. But now that the clocks have gone ahead, it's like, all right, now we need to bring spring in. The snowdrops yes, are out though, which is so, so nice. <laughs> we have, uh, I have this little patch of grass in the um, parking lot in my uh, apartment and that's all snowdrops. So it's so, so pretty. Oh, those are flowers. Yes. <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm not means. excited about snow. Let me tell you that. No, the snow. Well, I, knew th I knew that. So I'm like, what, 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 what's the difference with a snowdrop? I'm, I'm, maybe it's a Canadian thing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I just got uh, quite a few here. So we'll just see. So the first one is Raven Sara. Hmm. The second one is LMI. And the third one is eucalyptus. Wow. So, yeah. Well, let's see what's going on today. So for the first one, for Raven Sara, that is resources that we already have. So let's see what the divas have to say to us today. Breathe in. How are you feeling today? Are you hurting? Does there seem to be a black cloud overhead that never seems to dissipate? How long will you suffer in silence? I'm Raven Sara. Let me help. When we hold on to grief, it manifests in the lungs. They become clogged, and it is difficult to breathe, and illness prevails. It is time to release the grief that is holding you back. I am known as the oil that heals. Bring me along on your healing journey so that I may provide support as you release the grief in a healthy manner. Mm. Oh, holy for Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is a way to start a Monday. So I'm sure everybody has experienced grief on some level uh, and they may be experiencing that now. And um, as we've discussed before on Nature's Divas, as well as What If, is we always have choices. And grief comes in stages. It's not saying get over yourself and move on. We're not saying that at all. What this is, what the Nature's Divas messages today is acknowledge that grief, feel that grief, but know that. You can also release that it. it's not something that you have to hold on to as a badge of honor and not be happy anymore. So there's no guilt in feeling happy and living your life if, you know, something has happened and you're very guilty about it. So it's really helping you understand that you are here to live and whatever that grief was that you were experiencing or are experiencing now, that was part of that other person's journey. And that, you know, they fulfilled their journey, whatever that was. 
but you also have a journey here. And what that's saying is, you know, go through the process of grief, but remember, it's still okay to live your life and be happy and embrace life fully because you're still here. You still have things that you need to do. Have you got any thoughts, Dr. Wow. Dave? I, I, this one just really took me by surprise. Mm. Um, I, I only knew that it was um, that this that Raven Tara was was part of the breathe blend that we use um, in DoTerra. Um, it's so and I uh, what is it called in in Canada? Clear breath or clear air? Clear air, I think, is what it what it's branded as there. Um, I, I, that's all I knew about Raven Tara. I just know that it was in there, and I've got a few bottles of of it um, singly. Um, <laughs> they're all unopened because I just knew they were in the blend and I had no idea what it did until today. I'm now thinking in my head where I'm locating all of them because this week is so critical uh, to that I've got folks that need this um, because we have a funeral this week and it's it's going to be a a rough week for a lot of folks that, that I'll get to deal with. Not to mention mm -hmm. um, there was a few things that, that really popped up um, about, you know, coming into the springtime, it, it's about taking in the fresh air, um, being able to let go of all of that. Mm -hmm. And like we talked, like it said, that the darkness of the shadow time of, of winter, and, you know, as we're, and if you think of any of the animals that hibernated, they're now going to be taking some of those fresher, cleaner breaths to start getting out all of the stagnant air, which we do in, in some version of that. I think that we do that as humans as well. And, and, so it's stepping into that like all right let's kick this out like it's kind of get the cobwebs out of our 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 breathing apparatus so that we can get that really nice infused fresh oxygenated air in so we can then begin that clearer functioning of our brain and the rest of our body the other part that really struck me with that that as you were talking about um holding on to that that grief um and you said a badge of honor and there's so many times that is specifically when when someone passes how often folks will use that grief as a currency um to be able to most times it's not a conscious choice that they're doing but they're using that grief in a way that it gets them the attention um the love the compassion or just a different way for folks to see them much more softer and in, in that kind of thing. And so a badge of honor or using it as a currency is never a healthy thing. No. Um, so, but recognizing like, am I using that? So I can say that my gram, when my grandpa uh, passed away, probably two to three years, I would hear my grandma say the first time she's meeting someone or if she had a doctor's appointment that, he would say my husband just passed away and i'm like three years ago graham mm. not that the pain isn't there or important that she doesn't <clears throat> feel that but it's this immediate way of us to disengage whoever it is we're about to interact with um and have them treat us uh better or love us more you know kind of thing and how often we do that so i'm i'm seeing that raven's barrel is going to be a wonderful tool to be able to release that part that we don't have to have that as a currency that we can just fully step into where it is that we're at and, and get that freshness that we're choosing and wanting absolutely so i'm but the, i the, i didn't have much to say on <laughs> no that. not at all <laughs> <laughs> so our second one is lmi and these are the things that we need to release so there's a little bit of releasing and acknowledgement on, uh, I think, all of these, because usually the universe follows suit and everything is wrapped up in a nice tidy package. So let's just see what LMI has to say. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Are you feeling drained emotionally? Stressed? Come sit and I will rejuvenate you. I am LMI and I work in both the spiritual and earthly realms. 
This means I can help calm, balance, and ground your whole being. Meditation is something I love being part of. Invite me to your meditations and I can assist with aligning your chakras as well as reducing stress to promote a more meditative state. Well, that fits nicely into that as well, because if we are in a state of grief, we're stressed and we're sad. And it just continues this whole bundle of not feeling good. And sometimes just to, you know, take the suggestions here and use these oils, utilize the oils, because they are just such a wonderful gentle way to release things and I think I've spoken about this before on my journey using oils for a whole year totally transformed my life um, so they are so so helpful they're not like um, a kick in the seat of the pants and get you moving it's more of come along let's walk together and let's help you through this. So they're very gentle. And before you know it, you're going to look back and go, oh my goodness, like I've been able to just put one foot in front of the other. It doesn't have to be the whole big picture. If you put just one step ahead, that's one step farther than you were before. So releasing this stress because our bodies can't hold on to all that stress because then it manifests physically in our bodies and that's not healthy so just taking that time to step back and acknowledge the grief like the raven sara said just to acknowledge that and go through the process of grief it doesn't mean stuffing it down it doesn't mean you know just ignoring it all together it means acknowledging what's there and that they had a life and they had a journey which is now fulfilled, but you still have a life and a journey as well. So holding on to all this and creating that stress is just not healthy on your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual levels. So um, let that go. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, no themes. <laughs> with it <laughs> and, and you know this is one that i've been interested in learning more because um, that's come up before for things for lmi and um it, presently doTERRA doesn't have that oil so i wasn't really familiar so i went to go look it up and the first thing is the the part of it um especially because they come from the latin terms a lot of times in the first part of it is is the root is for eliminate is where we get it is the same so i'm like well, that's easy. Awesome. Okay, well, that sums it up. <laughs> um, but then I, I was, I was noticing that there were some, uh, there were some articles that were talking about using uh, the similarities between LMI and frankincense. Mm. Um, but LMI has, uh, it has more for the constituents and stuff in the um, monoterpenes. It has um, some of the ethanol. Um, methanol in it so it's got that mint which our next one is eucalyptus <laughs> this stuff is so fun <laughs> it is yeah this is how everything plays out you know <laughs> it's um i i it, it's it's kind of like the divas just said hey we're gonna tell you how to do some spring cleaning <laughs> absolutely <laughs> Even though it's snowing was, out, we've got nothing to do with that. Like, right. you know. <laughs> right. Have a chat with Mother Nature is what I got to say anyways. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's go back on her bipolar meds. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing to be able to see that it's it, – because it is time. We know that we're there. Even the calendar tells us that we're, we're coming into that. Yeah. Um, and, and there's a lot of internal – spring cleaning that we need to be prepping for and should be you know part of that cycle um as we're starting to come into you know a holy season for folks you know this next month so it, it's that preparatory coming out back into emerging ourselves you know out of that shadow time uh in in alamai is, is lending again to that beautifully um 
Do you, do you have uh, LMI uh, oil by chance at all? Yes, I do. Well, uh, can you describe what it smells like? Like the scent of it? Well, hold on a minute and I'll get it because <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> all right. I always smell an oil, so it's very hard to, uh, you know, keep everything in my brain here. Mm-hmm. Now, let's see if I can explain myself here. Hmm. Smells good. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, you can smell a little bit of the that menthol as you were you were speaking. Okay. It just it's got that cooling sensation. Yeah, it's hard to put your finger on. It's got a fresh, like a fresh uh smell like um you know when you open up the windows and just you got uh like good healthy uh cleaners to clean with and it just has that fresh smell that's okay yeah it smells good i like it anyways. awesome mm-hmm. now i'm going to be seeking that out because i want to <laughs> i want to experience that that's fun Yes, absolutely. It's a good one. I'll see if I can get some from the company that I deal with and I'll send you some. Okay. If they still have it. Um, So our last one is Eucalyptus Globulus. And this is for, oh, this is all going to play out. So wrapping Mm. it up in a nice tidy pack. Oh, and look, they're side by side in here. (laughs) Nice. Breathe in the scent of my oil. Continue breathing as it permeates throughout your body to the corners of your subconscious where underlying beliefs are held. I'm eucalyptus globulus and I can help you release these beliefs and patterns that no longer serve you to make lasting changes. So it's all about, as Dr. Dave said, getting in there and spring cleaning that mind, getting those thoughts and beliefs and patterns that aren't serving who you're becoming on your journey and letting go of them, releasing them and just saying enough's enough. And now we need to clear that out because it is, it's, um, you know, we're coming into the first quarter, the end of the first quarter here. And how quickly that went. <clears throat> so what are you going to do going into spring? It's about new beginnings and new things. And it's time to shed off that winter coat. Finally. Mm-hmm. And the toque and the mucklucks and the boots <laughs> and all the rest of that stuff. I do not have, well, I do have a toque. It's a hat. <laughs> I don't have mucklucks though. <laughs> well, actually... Yeah, mucklucks are a specific kind of boot. I just have big winter boots, but um, yeah. I'm sure our friend Jules has them. Oh, yes, absolutely. With all the snow that you see when she's on there. Yes, she definitely has mucklucks, I can imagine. (laughs) But um, it's time to look for the colors, look for the the spring, get that spring in your step instead of that heaviness that has been well it's the winter is more for you know hibernating and taking that step back and going within and now it's time to let all that good stuff out and step forward into this new springtime breathe in the sunshine breathe in the colors and just lift your spirits and you know start this spring in a whole new way find out what your goals are create some goals and really rock and roll this life that we've been given and what your soul's purpose is yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah, and i i love um eucalyptus um it's usually super strong (laughs) a lot of times so i'm making sure i'm usually blending it with something that's a little bit more palatable um, but I I do love it, but it, it because it is that one thing that will stop you, and you just, whoo! All right, uh, yay! <laughs> um, and one thing, my my grand from Canada actually, um, when 
a lot of times when people would move to a new location or a new house, whatever, uh, you would end up getting some, uh, it was usually like, um, branches or something that was like crafted, um, with real eucalyptus in it. Um, mm. and, and so it was a way that uh, you're supposed to bring something and, and we normally put it somewhere around the entrance, the, the entrance that everybody would use the most so that it's cleansing that, but also giving uh, new opportunities, exiting and coming in to the space. Um, so similar to smudging, I think, but it's more about being able to breathe new life into this new experience of where you're going. That's really cool. I've never heard of that before. I have no idea where that came from, or it could just be something that she decided to do. I don't know. I just remember the story because I've got many of them. <laughs> <laughs> I've moved a little bit. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. And, and there would be the, you know, the colors of wherever, you know, whatever the color is that like uh, for the new house. And so it all kind of go together. So it was a decoration, but we thought there was more to that, you know, so. Yeah, I, I still have them. <laughs> That's <laughs> really cool. So in think, summary is yeah. this grief that has maybe that has overtaken you and you really haven't been able to see past it. If it's been longer than six months, then this is something that you maybe want to look at getting some help with. Uh, because the process, and it's different for everybody, but if you're still really, really struggling and having a challenge after six months, it might be really helpful for you to reach out to somebody to get some assistance with that. And uh, definitely reach out to Dr. Dave here because he works with uh, grief and uh, different things like that. So he could be very helpful in helping you find your way out of that and using the oils and really just letting go of all of that stuff. And you'll have that, you know, usually the ego in the background's like beacon off about nonsense, but every once in a while you get this one going, really, do we need to keep doing this because it's really not in our best interest? You know, like every morning I wake up going, you really need to exercise. I like, guess I know I do, but I have some other things to do. So maybe in the middle of the day. So there is a positive one in there. I'm working on it. But you'll, you'll, once I've said that, you'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, I've got this little voice going. We can let go of that habit. So make a new habit, make a new ritual that's going to really help you in your life and move you forward. So, and it's not doing everything at once. Just one step in front of the other. Change one thing today and then keep doing it until it becomes a habit. And then introduce something else until it becomes a habit. But it's not adding to, it's replacing with what you're getting rid of. Not adding to so you've got so much more on your plate. It's, all right, I'm no longer going to do this. So I'm going to insert this one. So you got the same amount of time. you got the same amount of things to do. But it's for your benefit, for what you're doing. And, you know, live life. Spring is here. You know, you can't tell outside here today or in Michigan. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's coming. Snowdrops yeah. are out. So the spring flowers are just around the corner. So it's an exciting time to just breathe in and just release all that stagnant air. You know, one thing also additionally is that we think of that grief uh, for folks that have that have passed or have you know crossed over, but we have the same almost process, almost the exact same process when it comes to something that's super significant in our lives. So that can be the ending of a job or a relationship. You know that that we have a grieving process. It's pretty much the same thing. It's a major event in our lives. So if that again, if if that process is going past six months and you're still really struggling, as you, you talked about that, did you say six weeks or six months? Six months. Yeah, I'm just making sure. Okay, I'm like, no, 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 I said, yeah. Um, that it's it's not that it's just gonna, somebody's got the, the switch for you, because that's not it. It's just to give added tools to help you in that that process for folks. Absolutely. So that, that's what we're, we're promoting here, is making sure that you've got those tools 
the resources that you need so that you can continue that path. And I love all of our oils today. I'm super grateful for them um, of bringing definitely three power tools uh, to help us move and navigate. Absolutely. For sure. Spring cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been already spring cleaning. My daughter was here helping me the other day because as you know, I have a cat and lots of plants. So we had to do some adjustments. So she's like, well, why don't we spring clean while we're at it? I'm like, hey, you're here. Okie doke, we'll do that. So yes, it's feeling very nice and light and clean in here. I had the windows open. So the other day, oh, nice. not today, but the other day when it was nice. <laughs> so um, yeah, awesome. so reach out if you have any questions to Dr. Dave or myself, we would love to hear in, in the comments what you thought of uh, today's message and uh, let us know how it spoke to you and how it's uh, changing your life. So we are going to say goodbye for now, but we will be back next Monday with the Nature's Divas, the conversations with the Divas. And we're going to be right back on talking about what if and possibilities. So have a wonderful week <laughs> and we will talk to you soon. Namaste. Take care.